Welcome to this video where I'm going to go over the recent price action in cryptocurrency and where I believe the price will go next. Stay tuned. Firstly, we're going to start on Ethereum. I'm going to begin on the four hour time frame because this is where I found a fantastic trade. As you can see, for the last few weeks since April, we've been dropping, dropping May, absolutely had a massive drop and now we're going sideways at the beginning of June. Now, if you can zoom into this price right here, can you notice any any difference here you can see that we are in a symmetrical triangle we've actually made a perfect symmetrical triangle where in the last third of the triangle is where we make the breakout which is the apex point so you can see we have a symmetrical triangle here in this last third is where we get the breakout middle third first third we get the breakout in the last third. As you can see, waited for this breakout. Now I traded this as a final flag move. The reason I did that is because you can scroll out, you can see that we've had massive, massive decline. We've got massive decline, bit up, massive decline. When we have this price action here like this, usually the triangle has a 50% chance to break to the upside and a 50% chance to break to the downside. Now, because you've seen the recent, recent price action to the left, it actually changes the probability to be a 75% chance to break to the downside. And it's called what I like to explain as a final flag move. It's the final flag triangle where this final move here is the final move before we have a massive, massive reversal. And you can see we did, we came down, we had a massive fall off. We actually dropped from the triangle top nearly 40 something percent, 50, 49 percent, so a massive, massive drop off. And then you can see my second clear trading strategy, one, two, three. We get a three push wedge, so we make a wedge after a final flag move and bang, straight after that, we were up 27% from the lows. Absolutely crazy trading in the last few weeks. This is what I've been trading. Firstly, I took this trade, I actually waited for confirmation. I took the trade somewhere in this bar here and got out a little bit early somewhere in here, something like 20%, absolutely crazy. And then I was waiting for my third trade. I actually came in here, noticed that we were in a three push down, one, two, three, and I actually entered in here. So I was a little bit early because I'd already drawn the one, two, three, one, two, three. So I was saying, yep, we're ready to go. One, two, three. We actually came down massively. I was asleep for this part here, and then we just rocketed up. So regardless of me getting in here, sure, I was down at one point. At one point, I was down somewhere around 10%, but bang, up 17% because I knew my risk to reward. When it goes down lower, I'm going to buy more because I'm not entering with a crazy long leverage position. Again, as you can notice, this, 20, this EMA here is what I, what I use, the 20 EMA, 220, and the 850 EMA on every time frame because it actually displays further time frames in the front. The four hour 850 time frame is nearly the 20 EMA on the weekly time frame, which really explains the price action for me. So that's how I've been trading. Final flag move, and we traded down to a three push wedge. Now, where do I believe the price is going from here? Where do I believe? The price always comes back to test this apex of the triangle. So let's redraw this triangle in quickly. It's not gonna be perfect. Just draw it a little bit quicker this time. Now, what happens is we always come and retest this apex. What I'm expecting here is price to continue to continue up, maybe make a bit of a decline, maybe make a bit of a head and shoulders move here, bang, and then we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up and we're gonna test this price in here because that is the apex of the triangle. Apexes of the triangle have been tested every, every, every single time. Let me actually scroll into the 30 minute and show you what I mean. Scrolling into the 30 minute, this is how I knew that I, I'd actually entered too early, or I thought this was the perfect move, is because if you actually scroll in here on the 30 minute, here you can see another symmetrical triangle. I got excited here, and I thought this was gonna be the final flag move within the final flag move. Again, everything trades within fractals of itself. So I thought this was gonna be the final flag move that I'm gonna trade. We're gonna wait for the last break in the last tri in the um, apex of the third. As you can see, that's the third, that's the middle, that's the start. And I thought, here's perfect trade. And when we got into here, that's when I began to enter because I thought, perfect, we've got three pushes down, one, two, three, three pushes down. We've got a final flag within a final flag move. We've got a very explosive move and I entered in here. Went to sleep, had a bit of a drop and bang, we absolutely skyrocketed through. And this is where you can see 
apex of the triangle, look at how we tested it perfectly. We came across here and we had these massive retests in here of the apex of the triangle. Price needs to come in and retest this price because it is a very, very clear resistance level that was used initially. It was a support. It was a support, support, and then it absolutely got demolished through that support level and it becomes a resistance. Again, this is exactly my trade. I'm actually going long here on the four hour time frame because I'm expecting this one, two, three push down. We always get a one, we always get two moves to the upside. So I'm expecting this to be a one wave. We come down and then we get the third wave up and the third wave up will correlate here exactly with this symmetrical triangle. We'll come back, we'll actually test this price. It's not gonna be the final price. Doesn't mean that as soon as we test this price that we're just gonna skyrocket down. But what it does mean is when we come back to this price, this is gonna be a, a, a nice, at least small short position. But what I'm, I'm not really interested in short right now, I'm interested in long to actually build my position up. Hopefully, again, as I said, get this head and shoulders move, which I'm actually really anticipating, I'm anticipating this move here to just come down a little bit. It is, as you can see, if you scroll in, it's just not looking as strong. We started to massive up, 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 and then we started to break down, break down, break down. So I'm expecting this head and shoulders move and we recome and test this triangle. Last thing I wanna go over is just in the five minute chart, and this is what I was trading the other day. If you scroll in here, my infamous one-to-one -one measured move strategy. As you can see, my one-to-one -one measured move strategy uses the bar, uses big, trading trending bars, and I use a one-to-one -one measured move. So let's use here, we've got through three massive one-to-one -one measured move trading bars. The reason they're one-to-one -one trend bars is because the body of the candle is much bigger than the entire, is than this little wick here. The, the body is, is a majority of the candle. Now you can see I do my one-to-one -one where I go to the body of the bottom, to the body of the top, I, I copy and paste, and I get a price. I now, I now have an entry. And I have an entry in here, and I have a stop loss down here, and I have a take pro take profit in here. As you can see, bang, look at what we did. We came in, we hit my take profit, and look, we, we absolutely reversed. Hit this, hit this price exactly, bang, and then we made over 8% in that quick trade. And that's why I'm showing you these one-to-one -one measure move strategies. It might be hard to understand, and that's why I have my seven-hour trading course there if you're ever interested. But it is very, very key, key in the market to have all these different strategies, three push wedge, symmetrical triangles, one-to-one -one measured moves, because the market is not just going to be showing you one way it's going to be moving. It's going to be continuously moving in, in many different ways, and you need to best understand how to trade it. Now, let's just jump over to Bitcoin for a quick for a quick overview. Same thing with Bitcoin. It wasn't exactly it wasn't exactly the same as you can see here. We didn't have this symmetrical triangle in here as we had an Ethereum, and that's why I felt like trading Ethereum was actually the better one to trade. If you scroll out here, the reason I have this yellow line is because it's the old time high. Look, we literally came back, retested this all time high, and now we're bouncing off it perfectly right now, and we're already testing this all time high. So we're coming off with the support here. You can see this candle here, nice solid wick. We are broken down and we don't have these triangles in here. That's why I I, am, I just prefer to trade. Bitcoin is going to follow Ethereum. Ethereum is going to follow Bitcoin. They're not going to trade. One's not going to go up 5% and the other is going to go down 5%. That's why I just find whichever is the easiest asset to trade. Right now, I can understand Ethereum better than I can understand Bitcoin. So why trade, why trade Bitcoin when I can just trade something that's easier that's going to follow the same path? Follow the path of water. Water follows the path of least resistance. You need to do the same thing. You need to follow the path of least resistance that makes trading easier for you, makes everything more confluent, makes sense for you, and it's easier to just get in, get out of trades. Thanks for tuning into this video. If you'd like to learn more, check out my seven hour trading course on Skillshare. Make sure to subscribe below and I am making another trading course based around cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching.